犯规了，扣分。扣完了之后呢，摔那么多跤，推那么出去，我们一次都没被推出去。告诉我谁赢了？我们赢了。徐晓东，咱们说好的，按说好的推手规则来进行，来进行友好的交流。但是徐晓东，你出尔反尔，言而不信，咱们达成口头协议，你说话不算，你你出尔反尔，说话不算。你还恶意的重伤我！现在徐晓东，我告诉你，现在我正式向你发出挑战，咱俩来打一场，咱打一场连推再打的比赛。徐晓东到底看谁是骗子，谁是假的，谁是谁是无赖？徐晓东，你敢不敢？ For those of you wondering what's going on, we originally featured part of this saga in 2019, but recently I found out almost all the funny details, so it's time to re-examine it. 第一场一分半就是摔跟推。一切的停都由龙诺来说，不是我说。如果龙诺没说话，你们俩随意。但是我说一下，跟大家说，为了安全起见，不许举报下砸。你举报给对方放下去，但不能下砸，不能有过肩整个的大型的动作摔，对吧？这都说清楚了。好了，交给我们的裁判。The guy in question is called Tang Lao Tui. AKA Push Hands Tang, Push Hands Master. Isn't that the funniest label? But anyways, Tang Wen Long is his actual name, and he's apparently a pretty famous Tai Chi master. <laughs> Before he officially issued this challenge to Xu Xiaodong, he took on one of Xu Xiaodong's students in sort of a wrestling Tai Chi hybrid match, and we covered that before. But now that we have all that information, I think we need to look at that again. Let's look at this again. All right, here we go. And Tai Chi guy on the right. Wow, collar tie to a temp set single leg to double leg. So that was a really good exchange. Tai Chi guy definitely had some good center of gravity, but he still ended up on the ground. So that counted towards our wrestler, aka our student of Xu Xiaodong's. So now hand fighting. You can tell Tai Chi guy does have some understanding of leverage, right? But it's just too much. Now, wrestler did push him out of bounds, but notice wrestler did have a knee on the ground. If this were strict moving step push hands, that probably wouldn't have counted. So keep that in mind. Look at that. More attempts and arm drags by wrestler. Tai Chi guy kind of doing a collar tie. Look at that. That was almost the Tai Chi guy almost pulled the wrestler down, but wrestler got an ankle pick. So. Obviously, the Tai Chi guy has some skill, right? But he's outmatched by the explosiveness and probably the conditioning of the wrestler. I mean, honestly, the Tai Chi guy doesn't look too bad right now. So now the wrestler just pushed him out of bounds. So back again, the wrestler has basically won every exchange so far. Tai Chi guy again. He's got he's got some good moves, man, but. He just doesn't have as much skill. And then watch this. He's complaining that wrestler had a knee on the ground, right? Because the wrestler is used to doing many takedowns that involve the knee going on the ground. So Tachi guy's complaining and wrestler saying, "Well, okay, that's fine. That's fine. You can not count that one." So as you see already, the Tai Chi people are starting to try to change the rules. Even the the ref, who's a kung fu guy, by the way, that ref guy, he's a kung fu guy. Even he's kind of laughing. This is really funny. So here they go. One more time. Wrestler takes him down and then does a knee on belly. And you know that they're going to complain about the knee on belly for the rest of this. So this was the end of the first round and the wrestler obviously won. So for those of you who watched the original analysis back in the day, you know that the Tai Chi side complained about two things. One, of course, was the knee on belly. The second thing was there was a big debate over whether you could even grab the legs. <laughs> Even though it was clarified you can grab the legs, the Tai Chi side claimed that they only agreed you can hook the legs so you couldn't use your fingers. You can only hook with the crook of your elbow. You couldn't actually grab the legs. The crux of the Tai Chi side's argument was that they only agreed to moving step push hands. Even though you saw very clearly in the beginning, Xu Xiaodo explained what was not allowed from the wrestler's side. <laughs> Uh, 
，可以抱腿，可以抱腿。那这个分数那没错了。刚才你说说好了可以抱腿，这没错的啊。没有问，听我说啊，哎呀，只能说勾腿。没说让抱腿，这个这个听裁判的，我先问一下，您怎么跟他们协商的？就是协商的，就是没。没您大声的说，您是裁判，没有别的，没有勾。允许抱腿吗？可以，可以抱，但没提，没提。当时我，所以我就问，就先问这个，可以抱腿吗？您回答。可以。这世界的朋友都看着呢。因为他是有意的。他是什么有意的？抱他，他赢了，他赢了，俩扣分了。这是赛事扣分了，那您说还干嘛？我给您道歉，还想怎么样？你说吧，来大家听着，单机了，犯规了，扣分，完了想怎么着？说。So eventually, the Tai Chi side just quits, and that's when Xu Shidong kind of has the outburst. You fools, shut up! Let's go. Look, I'm giving you the belt. Let them get the belt. How are you going to do it? Don't fool up! I'm here with a bunch of brothers. Come on! I'm here with you. I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not going to fight with you. Don't fool up! Come on! 来啊！谁？还有谁？说！来，咱们起舞！来啊！来啊！打不了了，看旗子，看他们是谁，叫什么名字？就这武林风，看着，还打不打了？ So now we go to the challenge. This challenge happened a few days later, and basically this Tai Chi master now, because this went all viral on YouTube and then on my channel and elsewhere, he realized, oh my God, I got to appear tough again. Now that I'm away from the gym, I can challenge Xu Xiaodong because I know I'm never going to actually fight him. So that was the conclusion. That was the part that we didn't get when we originally covered this. As far as I know, they didn't actually fight. He didn't actually fight Xu Xiaodong because if he can't even be Xu Xiaodong's student, I don't think he can be Xu Xiaodong. This is probably where the saga ends. This guy, he used to have a Douyin. He used to be on Chinese social media, but recently I've been looking for him. I only find other people uploading stuff about him. I don't know where his official account went. <laughs> Maybe they follow my channel. They found out that Jerry found him. So he's like, I gotta hide now. I gotta hide. <laughs> If you like this in-depth reporting, guys, I worked really hard on this, as you can tell. Make sure to press like, make sure to leave a comment, make sure to share this video. Here's a fun question for you guys. How long would this guy last against you? Shut up. <laughs> because again, he said first round push hands, second round MMA, right? So maybe he might get past the wrestling round by changing the rules again on Xu Xiaodong, but I don't think Xu Xiaodong is going to take this CRAP again, right? Xu Xiaodong will probably just wrestle him to the ground and pin him. So yeah, let me know. How long do you think he'll last? Okay, guys, talk to you soon. Lots more to come. Come on! Who has a man? Who has a man?